So yeah. when I went on the show, anyways. What Haitian, show did you go on? Oh. Can you say it, please? Because I don't want to sound prideful. I, I don't know what show you went on. I don't know. <laughs> Guys. Okay, so I went on The Voice <laughs> UK <laughs> last year. You got support from people back home as well? The most. Did you feel like you got love and... Do you know what, but I, do you know what I do say about Zim sometimes? Mm. This is a podcast with me, your host, Mako Mborero. I'll say the full name, but uh, the podcast is finished here. My name is Anatoria. What's up? So, who's your favorite basketballer? Next question. Who is it? Um, KD. Ah, the whole crowd, everyone, look, look at him. He's so disappointed. Do you know what it is? He's so disappointed. Wow, I haven't come across some people who are like KD, my guy. Like, we all appreciate how good he is. But, not but didn't Steph Curry retire? No, he's still playing. He's he was, still playing. He was Steph Curry's still playing. Yeah, still playing. He, was he was just injured. He was yeah. injured. Yeah, he just had like one of that's the best seasons ever. That's my guy. Steph, right? Mm. Yeah. No, Steph is my guy. Yeah, that's my guy still. Steph Curry, if you're watching, just... Uh-huh. Hi. Hello, too. How are you? Mm-hmm. Love you, bro. Mm-hmm. Really talented. If you're listening... Your wife is gorgeous. No homo. Wow. But... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, this is really gorgeous. Wow. He's beautiful, man. Yeah, I know. Hey. Beautiful. Good job, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good job, my guy. Good job. Wow. She's stunning. Um, and and, and with, with that even, um, I think just maybe one of the other chats is that I guess you said that, you know, obviously with your music journey and everything, mm -hmm. how do you balance your basketball, recreational, fun time in the UK with your friends and everything? I'm going to put this down and, now. Um, yeah, I'm coming yeah. back soon. There you go. I'm going to need some tissue. All right. Yes. So okay. so how do, how do you balance your, your, um, your time... Um, with like recreational stuff, with school stuff, with, mm -hmm. with everything else, and then you doing music. Like, w how do you keep it going? <coughs> so, please help me if you can. Okay. Sorry. No, don't worry, I got you. Music is up the number one priority. Yes. Yeah. Um, when I used to say that, I used to get in trouble from my parents. <laughs> now they're like, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, they really used to tell me off. Like, no, like it's you not priority, it's school. not the main one. I was like, no, you yeah. don't get it. Education is my backup plan, and if I said that, literally, I would especially say it. being like African, it's not a common thing where you can tell someone like, "Hey, for example, I want to go into basketball." Yeah, yeah, this whole maths and stuff is my backup plan, and it's like, "Oh, backup plan, you should. Yeah. This is your priority." Then if you do well in basketball or singing or whatever, you know? that's what I'm saying. So yeah. they wanted me like it was a side thing whilst yeah. I study my sciences because I'm, I'm a lover for my sciences, not physics. Physics can go in the bin <laughs> physics is not easy so a bio and chem physics is not for me yeah so bio and chem and i did psychology those were like my favorite subjects yeah i love chemistry and, and i love bio as well i did a little bit of psychology interesting, interesting and i'd always say you know no no, no education is definitely my backup plan yeah do you know what it is i think it's because i'm i'm very aware of myself so i knew that okay if i work hard with this gift that i've been given yeah it will take me to where i need to be in terms of making income that's yeah. um that i can literally sustain like be sustainable of. Yeah, yeah so i knew it i was like no you don't get it like like this is education this is, like, is backup. That's, i'm gonna use that so i can invest wisely like, and, and spend that money really wisely. my backup so yeah. when i went on the show anyways education. what show did you go on oh can you say it please because i don't want to sound prideful i i don't know what show <laughs> you went on i don't know guys Okay, so I went on The Voice UK <laughs> last year. I was on The Voice UK last year. Yeah, so that so consumed a lot of my time. Yeah. Yeah, and I was happy. 
Like it was the thing where I would have to wake up at six, even five on to some of the days yeah. to do my makeup and be ready. I was like, damn, if this was a school day, you think I'm waking up at five? <laughs> For that me, ain't happening. That's when I realized, like, yo, I have so much passion for this music thing. Yeah. I would, I don't mind being tired from having a long day of rehearsal. Yeah. yeah. But if I have a long day of school it's, and I'm it's tired, it's the, it's a different type of tired. Yeah. So I've just, you know, since then, education. I'm going into uni. Okay. In September. Hey, congratulations. Thank you. Go do the things. Um. Yes, yeah. but I'm not studying like sciences anymore. I'm doing yeah. music business. So. Hey. Along the same. Let's make some money. Yeah. Yeah. From this whole music thing, no, that's dope. Yeah. yeah. Everything needs to be like aligned in my life now. Okay. But my parents, by the way, just to like get the confusion out of the way, they are very supportive. Yeah, no, look, we can. So, <laughs> it's like, hey, kids. Yeah, you know they're like, ah, oh, they're gonna go look for your parents' socials now. Oh my gosh. Before it looks like Trust a, them. Yeah, because it, it might look like they This is what happened even on the show. Yeah. It was like I was trying to articulate my words properly yeah. without making it look like I'm saying, oh, my parents made me do sciences. Because they never did. I love sciences for myself. They were yeah. never trying to push me to be a doctor. I wanted yeah. to be a surgeon by myself. Ooh, okay. So. Cool, just That's to get that out the way, my parents were very chilled. Be a musical surgeon, come on now. Exactly, that was, yeah, yeah, that yeah. was the goal. Cut it up. Yeah. Yeah. No? And, yeah. and, and um, how are you feeling about going to uni though? I'm excited, you know. Hey. It's, been, it's been too long for like, me being out of like a, a like studying a system, sort of, you know? Yeah. Like, I needed to get back into that routine of, mm -hmm. of studying. I, I, when, I feel like the more I have, the more I can manage. Yeah. When I have less, it makes me think I have more time, and then I never get the less that I had done. Yeah. yeah. When I have more, I'm like, okay, I gotta do this at this time. I gotta do this at this time because like I've got a, a lot schedule more also schedule. helps you to be like, okay, fine, I've got yeah, things to do. Exactly. Let's like, do the things. It literally helps because yeah. I'm like, okay, if I go to the gym at this time, and then I come back, I study for two hours. Mm. That's education, not the way. Okay, yeah. let me go to the studio. Like it just makes me feel more organized and I have it's a lot like more I'm, things I'm to think about. I'm doing stuff. Like we're keeping it pushing. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Keeping my mind busy. I've I've never been a child to, to like doing one thing. So you're always up to like multiple something. Things. That's literally why yeah. I play basketball. I'm it's just like, active. I need to I need to be doing. I need something. to let it out. I need yeah. to let it out. Yeah. I have to be working all the time. And do you do you sort of even in, in all of that being active and everything like mm -hmm. that? Um, and you're starting how soon? September. Ooh, so, okay, so have, have you gotten your preparations ready? Have you, no. Have you like, you know, back to I'm, school vibes? I can't wait to say that. You know, because yeah. I thought my life was over. Yeah. Because it's not even a thing where like I dropped my A-levels. I didn't, I got kicked out of my college. And they thought... I got kicked out. So I was upset. I was like, my life is over. I'm not in education anymore. But God came through for me anyways. Yeah. Thank you, JC. Yeah. But um, no, he came through. So it was a thing where it's like, now I have to move out. Because I'm studying in London, but I live in Birmingham. Oh. So I got to do the whole move out thing, which is so weird. Like, I'm going to live by myself. Yeah. Like, I've wanted to live by myself. Uh, is this going to be your first time living on your own? Yes. Yes. How are you feeling about that? Great. I feel, <laughs> I feel amazing. Look, I don't mind. It's, you know, it's just, it's just a regular vibe. It's just, yeah. Know, I mean, I, I love my mom so mm -hmm. much because we live with her mainly and my sister. Mm -hmm. But I can't wait to live by myself. And actually... Because, you know what, they always blame me for the mess in the house. But I'm like, hey, cool. Once I leave, yeah, and I'm in my own yard, it should mean I'm carrying the mess with me. So we'll see about that one. We'll see who's the, who's the messy person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. we, will, we will decipher who it is. When, when you guys are still sweeping and everything, we'll know. I'm telling you. I legit. No, I get that, though. Sam, you know what, this food is so good. It is very nice. Mm -hmm. Anyway, are you going to have some more kombucha? Some more what? Kombucha. Some more what? Kombucha. I'm not searching that drink. <laughs> 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 I'm good for now. Some more <laughs> okay, and, and and um, yo, living alone is pretty interesting, eh? Do you live alone? No, not not here, but like when I'm in school. Oh, yes. okay, yes. So well, I have a I had I had a housemate that I was with. So mm -hmm. just the two of us we shared an apartment together. It was kind of nice. It was actually really nice. Mm -hmm. I think the difficult thing though is like, not it would be more like bills. And it's not that bills, you're mm -hmm. like, it wasn't like the bills went crazy high because things in Malaysia are relatively affordable, mm -hmm. you know? But it's just the thought that like, oh, so I have to pay for electricity. Like, like, See, I, like, I, have, like I have to. Some like, of the, I think the place that I'm getting mm. comes with it. With oh, the, like everything is just. Yeah, with the rent. So yeah. it's not like I pay rent and then you got everything electricity and yeah. gas. No, no, no. Yeah. 
all together, which will be very helpful if yeah. I don't have to think about that. And then, like water, so now you're like, ee, you open your tap, you're like, ee, let me quickly, you know, because if you leave it open for too long, you're like, ee, that's an extra five cents, Finish. guys. Ee. Oh, gosh. Let's, let's quickly close the yeah. thing. Yeah. I don't like, want nah, to have yeah. to think about that. <laughs> and how you feel about London? That's like a, that's, I mean, Birmingham is fairly big. London is where it's but, at. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. London is where it's at. The music scene in London is crazy amazing yeah like there's so much that happens you've got gigging there's like so many events ma- mainly hosted mm-hmm. in london so hey, listen uh, i'm excited to not have to do that two hour journey on the train to go to, to get london to, you just because you'll be there already because i'm gonna be there all right but yeah i've got friends who i've got a friend who's potentially moving to london for do you know where i'm not sure yet mm-hmm. me. He, but he's because he just finished his he's about to finish his master's and he's um probably gonna go do an internship there but he was like, yo, the cost, like, it's crazy. It's expensive. Like, yo. What? Yeah. Even me, I'm scared. <laughs> Even me, I'm scared. I'm actually scared. Because I'm Shibaring. like. Shivering. Shivering. Now I'm literally like, I'm going to need a job. But yeah. then music is my job. <laughs> it's like, look, I, I'm going to have to find a way to balance No, Do you these know what two. it is? It's so weird because like, it's hard, especially when I have a social media following. Yeah. To see if somebody sees me working in McDonald's. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying though? Yeah, it's so yeah, yeah. weird. Like, I, I want a job in McDonald's. I've always wanted to work in McDonald's. That's a confession. McDonald's. When I was younger, I actually used to want to be a bus driver. Really? Yes. Oh. You know the way my heart is set up, guys. Like, I, one I would, day you're going to just be like, look. I would see, they were really mean bus drivers. They weren't nice. They were horrible bus drivers. Oh, so you were like, I'm a And I was be. like, you know what? I'm going to be a bus driver one day so I can be the nice bus driver that people. <laughs> I love it. I love <laughs> that people it. People so need to do it. No, I was serious. And I was like, telling like my people dad. Like, you be like, hi, welcome, like, how's, how's your, your day? day? Yeah, because you know, someone could, have, could really be having a bad day and they need the bus driver to Thank be you. nice. And it's like, hurry up. I was really, you're late, you know. And I've had some bad bus driver experiences in my lifetime. What's, 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 one, of the, what's one of the bad experiences you had? Well, the thing is, I did a lot of pranks with my sisters. We saw this prank of somebody who what was go- was getting on a bus, but instead of getting on, they put their foot on to tie their laces, and then I would be peeved. Then they came off. Too. Then they came off. They were like, "Thank you." And imagine the bus driver then goes. But this one time, I wasn't even doing that. I was getting on the bus, but I was trying to hold the door open for my friend who was running. Yeah. My friend's running now. The bus driver decides to close the door. I'm banging. He never liked us, anyways. I think it was because we were black. <laughs> And he would he would always drive past when he saw like a big group of black people by the bus stop. He yes. said, "Yeah, no, none of that. Yeah, not on my bus." And it was bad, so I, yeah. I then banged on his um, window. I'm not aggressive, but in that moment, <laughs> all the like your years of just to. being passive were like, "No." I really had to, gonna... and it was a really rare bus. Like it comes every hour, oh, that's, so it was like yeah, that's my not guy. Easy, eh? Yeah. We gotta, we gotta do something about this. I was ready to change the world by being a bus driver. That, that phrase, my guy, is such a Zimbabwean phrase, you know that. My right? guy. Yeah. Really. Ah, it's it's also the it, there's a, there's the other version of wangu. Wangu. Yeah, that's really Wangu da. Ah, wangu da. Hey, 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 Yes. So if someone's like, hey, so if you're like, hey, my guy, you're like, wangu. Mm-hmm. Should he say? Wangu. Yeah. Wangu da. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh, it's just more like wanguda. It's just like wanguda. Like like yeah, yeah, you gotta break it up in a way. Okay. Yes, wangu. All right. Boere, mm-hmm. boere, boere is another. Bolato. Hey, 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 yes, okay, so funny. Like, you're trying to teach me Shona the boere, like I don't know what boere. Is. No, I mean like the the, the colloquial term. Ah. 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 A campus. Yeah. yeah. So if you're if you're in uni and you hear the word campulo, it's it means campus. Yeah. I'm taking that back to England. Now you gotta, you gotta. It's like, hey, where are you going? Campulo. Yeah. 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 Take it back. Look at that. What is she saying, bro? I'm telling you, we, you know, Zims. We have so much influence on our friends. Yeah. Like in England, I have a Caribbean friend, yeah. so she's Trinidadian. She is she is in love with the Zim culture, the <laughs> language. The men. <laughs> hey, look, she loves him. I've, I've got a Sudanese friend mm. who the same thing about like the whole Zim men thing. Yeah. Her Twitter handle has a Zim flag next to her name because like I might just attract one of she said, one of the Zim men. She, <laughs> and like she's she's paying. She but like, look, I, I don't know if, the, if I don't know if, I'm, if I if I can get there. Um, so so Marco, help me while you're there. Look, because yeah. she's 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 gonna be in the UK but uh, Leeds. So mm. she's like Marco, listen. Leeds. Um, Oof. You need to you need to sort me out some Zim men. Really? 
Well. Lead accent is strong. It's a, it's a strong. But no, you're right. Um, even have a, a an Indonesian friend. She's Chinese Indonesian, mm-hmm. and she can you can have a conversation in Chana. You well, know it doesn't go that far with this one. YouTube. Really? Yeah. She, and, the uh, girl learns it from us. We're all Zim around. So she'll be like, she'll say something like, ah, Usadaro. That's how she says it. That's how <laughs> she says Usadaro. it. She can't say that. Nah. Like she hasn't gotten to saying that nah yet. She's still, she, she's progressing. She's, she's, she's getting progressing. there. But she claims to be half Zim, half Caribbean. Literally. What? What's the people are doing? I think it's really She'll cool. be like, oh, ah, yeah, yeah. The, the guy will be like, oh, where are you from? She's like, oh, I'm half Zimbabwean. And then I look at her and I'm like, <laughs> since <laughs> when, sis? Since, I legit since look at her like, bro. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's what are you mad. talking about? But she loves it so much. And the yeah. way, you know, Zim women are praised so much in England. Hey, because they are paying, innit? Paying, paying. You would love Zim so. women. Yeah, love yeah. Them. Top tier, number ah, one. No the they call us crazy, which is true. Do they? Yeah. No, I, don't, I don't think y'all yeah, are crazy. We're just y'all, are, y'all are great. Adventurous people. No, yeah, I, I love Zim. Really Out great. exploring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's life. Yeah. So y'all are on high demand in, in the UK. We are amazing, and we're so few. There's not many of us, but yeah. ah, we're there. Cause and cause when we are there, we still the show. Hey, come on now! <laughs> Just blessings walking around. Ah, did he? That's and, what I'm and blessing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and and I think it's just sort of um, you know. Probably just one of one of the, the the things you brought up, which I do want to touch on, because I thought mm-hmm. that was pretty interesting, and and there's been a lot of awareness in terms of you said your your brother um, is disabled. He's autistic. Disabled. Autistic, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So with with your brother being autistic, um, how do you guys as a family function around that? Mm-hmm. Um, and how do you relate with him as well? It was most difficult when um my for my mom because when Dawn was born. Mm-hmm. He was, he was born in Zim, we all were, but when Dawn was born, mm. they, it's not like they were, they couldn't really understand what was going on with him mm. as much as my parents didn't know. Yeah. There's a thing where he's growing up and it's not normal and the doctors can't explain what's going on. Oh, yeah. So it's like, oh, we're trying to raise the child, like but we're not understanding what's going on. Yeah. Cool. So she had difficulty in terms of trying to help him, um, help him out. So then cool, um, uh, Dawn, my mom and Dawn. Who's playing keys? <laughs> no, it's good. Like, it's so good. I need to actually know, but tell them to like, hey. <laughs> I think it's... Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, with my brother, my mom and my brother moved mm. over to the UK mm. to, um, what's it called? To find education for Dawn, since yeah. he was disabled. Yeah. Um, yeah, they moved over after we were born. Now, when I'm a child, I don't know what disability is. It's I don't just, even know. He's just your brother. He's just my and brother. That's what do you know is. what I'm saying? Yeah. So I grew up with him being his normal to me. Do yeah. you know what I'm saying? In my yeah. mind. Obviously, when you get older, you begin to understand, okay, he's different. He's not yeah. this. He's not that. He's just born different. So yeah. we're in the UK. And you know the way, because Dawn to me is my brother. Yeah. People actually tell me sometimes, like when I laugh at something he's doing because he's it's disabled. Like, oh, that's rude or it's like no blessing. blessing you can't, you can't do that. But he's like, that. oh no, like he's my brother. I'm like, and, but that's my bro, a... and he's moving mad. What do you want me to do? Like he's acting up right now. Like, he's think, moving mad. No, like you think I'm just gonna ignore his behavior? Like hey, bro. No, like can you honestly, chill? I'll be like he'll just do some weird noise. Like Dawn, you shout, bro. Why are you shouting? Someone be like, oh, blessing is disabled. I'm like, I know that, but that doesn't mean he has to shout. <laughs> it's so mad. People will literally think it's rude, but I'm like, nah, that's my brother. And on and top you of guys that, relate. he's a yeah, yeah. Dawn is amazing. He's a yeah. blessing. So it's a thing where it's like, he's a y'all blessing. think ha, it's ha, a difficulty. Ha, ha. No, yeah. <laughs> no pun intended. Yeah, yeah. People think it's a difficulty. Yeah. But really and truly, when we go to theme parks, we yeah. get to go in the fast track. So oh, what you're saying? Like, hey, hey, yeah, because you know. my man's disabled, so he gets a disabled <laughs> like a pass, and we get to. There. Y'all be waiting in the long queues, and in England, those, those. Yeah, they can, they can be quite lengthy. Queues eh? are lengthy. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, me and my bro, he's disabled. Sorry, we're going in the fast track. Yeah, Thank we just you. gotta, we gotta, you know. So it's a blessing. Yeah. It's a blessing to have him. You know, I wouldn't even be in the UK if it wasn't for him. Yeah. Because we moved over because my mom and my brother were here. So on top of that, I wouldn't have won the Voice UK uh, because, if it wasn't for him. So there's yeah. always a foundation to something, and it was my brother for me. So. That's really dope, and I, and I think that that's and it's good to see that there's like a relation and everything. So is mm-hmm. he based in the UK as well, or yes, is he and he's got that red passport. He got it before all of us. <laughs> He's got cheeky, a red passport. Cheeky. He's got yeah, it. Just, uh, <laughs> no, that, that's really cool, though. I mean, and I mean, like, because with a lot of families as well, you know, there's always mm-hmm. like a difficult thing where it's like, okay, he's autistic. How do we navigate the walls yeah. and everything? But if you know, it's also good to know that. Hey, even but he's that, he's back here now. 
So oh, yeah. he's enjoying Zim life, I think, yeah. a lot more than the UK because nobody really. I mean, they help, but with them not understanding, it's almost as if they really treat him differently. Yeah. So they start doing things for him when really and truly it's a thing where Dawn, you should be doing that yourself, my guy. Like we yeah. know you're disabled, but wash the dishes. But you know how you know? to do it. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So here in Zim, we get him to do things. We get him to fold something. You know, like get like him he's more a bit active. active and everything. Yeah, yeah. In the UK, yeah. they'll literally they will have people who work with them. But yeah they don't allow them to do anything so yeah, it's like it's yeah. it's stunting on their growth yeah so no, i get that yeah. it's annoying so he's back here now and he's living life lavish oh that's dope and uh mm-hmm. and living life lavish he's lol life i love that lavish. and I, I think sort of almost as we're, as we're sort of like coming to an end and, and tying it off and everything mm-hmm. um the voice obviously is something that you've done i'm sure you've been asked tons of questions <laughs> about oh my gosh how's your experience mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and it, but i think if we could just like for people who may have not heard or anything like that just like how do you find it how was it for you no it was fun i think i'll speak on behalf of anyone who wants to try something like that you know mm-hmm. to be on a platform and a stage like that my best advice is to go into that knowing who you are what uh-huh. you stand for you've really got to be confident on what you do yeah. because going into the show there are a few things that you kind of have to make very clear like hey like, this is why i'm this is you're not I gonna do. put me in this short skirt for me to be on this live tv <laughs> for my life no, that's happening. Nah, that's not happening. and you really gonna make it clear because it's a yeah. thing where they'll be trying to like it's not like they're trying to manipulate you but it's like a really kind persuasion to the point where you would just yeah. be okay with it so if, if you're okay with like short skirts like no that's okay but if the yeah. other things that you yourself are like so i would wear like something that. and i'd be like yeah. i'm so sorry i, I, I can't this. i can't i'm like guys i'm so I can't, sorry I, I can't i can't wear this yeah. one <laughs> be like no but you know it was good because they really do listen and they like they care about you you're a person they don't yeah. just treat you like a contestant or like an object they really it's do like care. oh oh okay no worries yeah even it's with the just, song choices so yeah. there were some songs where i was like so there's a song that goes praying to a god that i don't believe in i was like my guy i i'm not singing that line on live jesus, tv like, you, know you know what i'm saying yeah. i'm a jesus lover yeah. i'm not gonna speak about that so i was yeah. literally you have to make things clear like hey this one doesn't make me feel comfortable and they uh, will listen to you uh, but you just you have to speak up you know and yeah. be confident i was scared mm-hmm. at my chest <laughs> that being on that stage was scary every single time yeah. but you still gotta have confidence like people would see when they're watching me on the show is when i would sing it doesn't look like i'm scared yeah. the talking part now that's it like uh, uh, hi uh, um uh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah no thank you thank you <laughs> right, I was bye. Scared. <laughs> the talking bit is not for me like i always say i'm not a talker like i'm good at and conversing. here you are i'm good at conversing <laughs> but on that stage I, just holding the mic i was, was so scared yeah. but no just have confidence you got to know why you're doing the show yeah don't just do it and say you want to do it for exposure like i yeah. did it because i was like you know me being on this platform for one i'm representing my you know zim family you know what we do baby yeah, you me. know what we do secondly i'm representing anyone who was young because i was 17 at the time yo and then thirdly, I'm doing this because it's like, yo, let me show them like a supporter and lover of JC, Jesus Christ, can come up on these shows and still body everybody. Both <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I can so do cool. all things. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly that. So. Feel 430, tell me funny. about it. But you know what's crazy? Yeah. I'll reveal a secret right now. Uh-huh. When I was on the show, yeah. so doing the interviews, right? When I'm in the front, in the camera, I talk about God a lot more than it looked on the TV. I'll be like, you know, I'm doing this when I got on that stage. I want to make God proud. I want to make my family proud. I want to make. Why is it when I'm watching the thing back, <laughs> I'm seeing I want to make my family and myself proud? I said, no, but I included my God. Wait, 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 that part, bro. You maybe should have gone. Like, I want to, bro. I want to make God proud for God they and like so God every single editing. word. You know what I'm saying? They're so good at editing that it's you won't even. It doesn't even look like I said anything else. I was like, damn, y'all, y'all is wilding. Y'all are extra. But they're good. I was yeah. like, damn, yeah, but no, no yeah. I was there and I was proudly repping Jesus. Hey, and, so. and the and the dope thing is, I think as, as Zimbabweans as well, I think one of the questions that came from the audience was, um, you know, with with being Zimbabwean, did you feel like you got support from people back home as well? The most. Did you feel like you got love and? Do you know what? But I, do you know what I do say about Zim sometimes mm. is that they won't believe you can do it until you do it. Uh-huh. Because I think is, because I, I think, it's a yeah. hard thing. Like you know, when you hear, I think 
when you hear so much about like you know either being a footballer being mm. a musician mm. just all these different things that maybe don't have anything to do with education yeah it seems as though you've really got to be up there to then say i did it yeah so yeah. with zims like i would talk to a lot of zims and be like yeah i want to be a singer yeah and so the thing where it's like, okay, yeah, just study on your edu- make sure you but you're in your education. Okay, make a, but now make when sure I'm okay. there and I'm winning the Voice UK, it's like, yeah, you know, we always knew you could do it. And it's not that I reject that love and yeah, support. It's yeah. just like, you've really got to be okay with not having it in the first place. Like, like you've got to start with that. Yeah, it, like people think you can sing, but to then think, like you may be a talented footballer and yeah. a talented basketballer, musician, whatever. Yeah. But it's not that alone that will make people then say you can make it. Yeah. It's you actually have to be there. But I, I still like got so much stage, love. Yeah, yeah, so much love from Zim. When I did win the show, and when people were seeing me on the show, people were loving, and I was like, "Yo, I appreciate it more than the anything." Voice UK Zim ever. representing. Yes, sir. Yeah. I had to win it, you know, because when Donnell went on there, man came second, which was like he should have came first, but man had to come on. And just win the thing one time for the zip. Easy thing, you get me. I had to do it because yeah, you know yeah. I had to show them we can do first. Hey, hey, can Dress it to the corner. Dress it all of the above. Hey, exactly. Hey, yeah. Exactly. yeah. Exactly. And, and that's 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 great, dude. And and I think it's good to know that also as like a people. And I and I, I won't even like doubt that as well that Zimbabwe, especially when you're doing what you're doing, you're doing it well. Mm-hmm. Zimbabwe supports as well. Like Zim, you're is, saying, Zim is Marvelous so talented. Nakamba it's is always, stupid. You know, hey. And Zim is one of the most talented places it's Big just that bags. we're not like uh, there's not enough exposure for mm-hmm. people in zim mm-hmm. like i've met some amazing musicians yeah. who are zimbabwean here yeah. in zim and i'm like damn man yo like, you're, you're, you're good like like i think there's there's the there's the even the girl who does the covers mm-hmm. uh because he from outport the one mm-hmm. i showed you oh yes um people like that so they're very talented they're good Zim's and it's like talented yo, yo. You know, check it out because, like, but the exposure is alongside with South Africans. Hey, South Africans, are hey, hard. with the <laughs> yellows, you get me? South Africans are you get hard. Me? But Zim has also got a lot of talent, and yeah. it's kind of sad sometimes when you don't get to see a lot of people coming up from there. And it's like, come on, the recognition that you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I think it's a thing. It's a case of kind of exposure mm-hmm. that they just. Uh, I just want it's so elevated because there's just so much that can come out from it. So yeah. No, I get yeah. that. I, get, I definitely get that. And I, and I think with um, <clears throat> with that, um, someone also asked and said, okay, fine. Not even someone. This is more of my own question, actually, because mm-hmm. the whole thing was someone else asking from the IG Q&A. Mm-hmm. But um, one of the questions I have is, so you grew up and I grew up, I think most of the people between the ages of, I don't know about what 15 year olds are watching, mm-hmm. but let's just say like 16 and above, yes. up to maybe like 20 five six ish mm-hmm. grew up on shows like victorious on like hannah montana I-Carly. on i i carly you know what i mean um and i call back they, uh, yeah, got, I, been, I heard. yeah i haven't watched it me yet neither. um me neither. how does i call theme song go again um here i am <laughs> oh um, yeah. i call it is um it's awful for real I'm real. telling you how I feel. So wake, wake up, the members of my nation. It's your time to see. There's no way to let you take one. It's your time to see the brighter side of every situation. Some things are meant to be so good, and there's no way to me. Leave it all to me. Just leave it all to me. Just leave it all to me. Yeah, that's a banger. <laughs> You you will be surprised. I actually listen to those songs so regularly. Yeah. So regularly. Yeah, and I I think one of my favorites is is the Phineas and Ferb song as well. It's not mine. No, I'm sorry. Do you, you, you don't know, know you don't know the whole song? The Phineas and Ferb one. The summer vacation yeah. and school comes along just to end it. So the annual problem for our generation is finding a good way to spend it. <laughs> like baby building a rocket or fighting your mommy or climbing up the Eiffel Tower. Deciding to have a wave, creating nanobots or looking at Frankenstein's brain. It's over here. Fighting a nanobot. Your sister is saying, Phineas! As you can see, there's a whole lot of stuff to do for school starts this fall. It's too long. So, so, so Phineas, because Phineas and Ferb are gonna do it all. So stick with us, because Phineas and Ferb are gonna do it all. Passion. Passion. That's, that's, that's here a big time rush. Once again, feeling lost for now and then. Woo. I breathe it in mm-hmm. to let it go. Mm-hmm. 
and you don't know where yeah, you, you are now. now. Oh, what it would come to if only somebody could hear. Oh. And you figure out how yeah. you're lost in the moment you disappear. Yeah. You don't have to be afraid to put the dream in. That's my. Victorious is that's that's your stuff. That's your vibe. So ha- and even having grown up on things like that. Yes. Did you ever feel like one day I'm a, mm-hmm. I'm gonna make it with music? I was. I like I, I, I'm um, seeing this and. You see, do you know Andre? Yeah. Victorious? Yes. Wow. He was like my favorite guy because yeah. he played keys so well and yeah. then he also sing. I was like, yeah. I want that's, to sing. That's what I, want to do. I want to sing next to Andre yeah. one day, and I'd always, even when I'd watch the show, it, it would sometimes it wouldn't even feel like I'm just watching. Like I was in it. Yeah, you like know? like you're like you're a part of. I was already there singing your love. From when I had like my remote as my microphone from the intro, <laughs> and I knew all the songs. I'd yeah, repeat, you're in I'd it. I repeat episodes where there was bare singing. Yeah. And I was in it. I loved it so much. I Carly. Mm-hmm. I also loved. Um, the big time rush. Was he? I forgot about that one, you know. I watched, yeah. it was a lot like camp rock and high school musical. Okay, yeah, where it's like, oh, cool. Those guys yeah. there. High school musical is pretty the, dope. That the, was, it's that, good. Was some of the, that was some of the good stuff. I can't lie, I might yeah. watch Hannah it again. Hannah Montana. Yes, I yeah. watched Hannah Montana. A lot of that. Sweet Life on Deck was pretty dope. It was too. good too, yeah. yes. So you watch those and you're like, I'm, I'm a part Did of Did anyone like, ever watch is... Austin and Ali? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that one inspired yeah. me a lot. I loved it. Those, those, loved those it, are your vibes, innit? Yes. And you watch that and you're like, I could potentially well it was never the acting part but the music the music side music of it thing. yeah i yeah. mean one thing i've always wanted to do that like i don't really tell many people is i want to sing in a movie mm-hmm. you know how like in a movie maybe what's that one fighting temptations and they sang um father can you hear me i just want to sing once t- one time in a in a in a, in film a, yeah and then that's then you're and good to not go. even any acting yeah. just to sing and be a part of the film like you know that when they have the choir and then you'd be the one singing and then like, that's 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 all you want to do i would love to do that no, so I if anyone that. wants to plug me she's here she's willing you know <laughs> and, yes. and, and and i think sort of almost sort of like um sort of on a, on a, on a sort of parting shot mm-hmm. sort of well, there was, there was one request. They were like, oh, could you guys sing a song together? And I was like, I last sang when I was in sixth form. Oh, on the interview? Canada. Yeah. Oh, what song do you want to do? Hey, I don't... I don't, I don't do you know. classify him as a know. singer? I, I, think, no. I, think, I think we'll do that afterwards, and then maybe okay. I might add it in. We'll, we'll see. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Um, it's not but, easy, though. No, it's not. It's not. Like I said, I last sang when I was in sixth form, so... And that was a while ago. Mm-hmm. But um, I, I think lastly, in sort of like in, in a party sort of way, what mm-hmm. would you say are maybe um, one of your goals or hopes for um, five, five to ten years from now? And then maybe, um, maybe yeah, five to ten years from now and then maybe just longer beyond that as well. I should be chilling at the Grammys with people. Come on. That's, yeah. yeah. With, your, with your thing. That's yeah, a, with your, I really want to perform at the award. Grammys, but it's scary. Yeah. If someone was to tell me, oh my God, you're going to perform at the Grammys next year, I say no. <laughs> not really. Why? That, five years. You like you're not five, ready now. I'm not ready for like five for years, that. maybe. Five years, yeah. Yeah. I will prefer, I'll prepare for that. Okay. And um, yeah, I really just hope to, in five years time, to be doing everything I want to do, like in terms of creatively. Because mm-hmm. I have ideas, like the music I want to do is... Like, it's a blend of, like, maybe gospel R&B or maybe gospel Af- Afro. It's a gospel thing where, like, vibes. yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah and yeah. it's kind of hard. Like, I really hope that I'll be able to be doing that and be uh-huh. enjoying that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just, I hope to work with Marley Music one day. One day. Yeah. Gonna make it happen. One day. Gonna make it happen. He's super cool. Even just to sing with him yeah. would be cool. No, gonna make it happen. So, yeah, we believe, I'm we working believe. towards that. Yeah. Like, 2021, 22, 22, 22. Okay. 24. Yeah. Round about there, you can ask me to say, I'll come, I'll come back to the interview. We'll, we'll, and then we'll be having like an Apple Music card or Spotify or whatever, and, then, and it just has you with Mali music. And just, imagine it's like cool, yeah, we are cheer. I know that that's dope, <laughs> and, and and maybe even longer term beyond that, if you thought that far to be like, oh, that'd be cool to achieve, for example, by the time I'm like 50 or 60. Or um, you know, weirdly, I've actually always wanted to open like um, a music school, mm-hmm. like um. Not a music school, but vocal training. Yeah. Because I like helping people. I'm not a vocal coach. <laughs> and I'm not. I listen, I'm not. Listen. I got in trouble for it one time. I was on live and people were coming on. And an actual vocal coach came on. And they're like, uh, who are you to be? I'm like, okay, look. Shut it. Auntie, who are you? Wow. Like, shut it. <laughs> All I'm trying to do is help, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. 
I really like that. That would be fun. That'd be, yeah, that's, that sounds like quite a lot. And of fun. I like I like fashion, so. Hey, fashionista! I, I love it. I yeah. used to, I did textiles when I was in uh, high school. Yeah. The best thing ever. Yeah. Fashion designing is fun. I just haven't done it in ages. Okay. So, so I might get back into all of the creative stuff that I've always done when I'm from from young. I want to get back into that. Oh, so you just want to like look at. Oh, that's that's really cool. I saw you've got some socks that you that you were showing on your eyes. Listen, not even, I was hoping you had like pairs and zip. Oh, I do. Because yeah. wow. I'm so sorry. Yeah. They're not even my socks. They look so cool. Though. They are the socks are called Chooks. Yeah. Chooks dot ink on Insta. They are yeah. just so pretty. They look so cool. They are so cool. Even They're the shoes really look nice. like a legit. Like it looks I literally so wear them with my Crocs, <laughs> and it looks amazing. And you keep pushing. It looks amazing. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, oh. Instruments? Are you going to be doing any instruments as well? Do you play instruments? I play the guitar. Instruments? Hey! Yeah, I'm a guitar lover. That's my instrument. I, I learned guitar in high school for like a year. All right. And then all I remember is is G. I thought you were going to say that's C. G. No, G. Uh, that's A. A. And then that's D. D. Yeah, Go that's... on, lad. Come on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then this is... Uh, I see that do this. Because <laughs> I'm like, oh no, oh man. <laughs> I messed it up. <laughs> but that's right. So I yeah, mean, guitar—it's like you have to press so hard on the strings. I remember my the blisters. Yo. Uh, yeah, my fingers got tough. Yeah, hey, yeah. Because of it. <laughs> please, that well, face hey, is not the one. Look, no screech, um, like. in all you're doing, mm -hmm. back yourself in it. God's got you. We believe you're gonna do the bangs. Thank you, thank you. When we see you at the Grammys, we'll be there and saying, "Yeah, we're supporting from." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. No, but we believe you're gonna do well. You're gonna do Thank great you. stuff. Thank you so much for coming on to Thank the Thank you for having podcast. me. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you guys for yes. listening to me yes. talk nonsense sometimes. <laughs> and we talk Appreciate nonsense, it. guys. Please remember to check out um, Do by, by Zoe. Zoe. Uh, please remember to also check out Kale for your skincare needs because we're working on that. You know what I'm saying? Um, so those are some of our sponsors, and just go check them out. We will put their links in the description um, and everything else like that. Um, I think I don't know people here who are recording. We're not many, really. We're just literally like a handful. But people wanted to put you on the spot, dude. Yeah. Um, people are like, do you wanna, do you wanna, do you wanna take us out? Do you wanna take us out in this? Um, do you wanna sing as we go out? People mm. are putting you on the spot. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. I thought you were saying take you out, then take you for dinner. Oh, <laughs> you're playing. You're playing. <laughs> what did you say? Listen. <laughs> Listen. If you saw the way I froze, I was like, it's like yes. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Let's go eat! <laughs> I was like, people are watching me on camera. I don't want to seem like I'm selfish. <laughs> I mean, if you want to take me out, okay. who am I to say no? You know? <laughs> No, okay. me. I but was like, before, I don't, I don't even have you, dollars, I only have pounds. <laughs> are, you, are you okay with that? Yeah. Okay, so before you do, guys, please do make sure to like, comment, subscribe, check out the middle of podcasts, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. If you're listening, thank you so much for listening. If you're watching, thank you so much for watching. We're here on YouTube. If you want to stay informed with everything else that's going on with the podcast, mm -hmm. uh, check, us, check us out at, at T Middle O Podcast. And um, that's on Instagram. Uh, the Twitter's there, but it's not alive. So if you really want to follow us um, there, that's where you can get us. My own IG handle is at MakoCads. So M A K O underscore K A D Z. And um, hers is at, at Anatoria. Two underscores. Oh, double underscore. Do that. And. Um, you know, uh, yeah, I don't know. Our guests here in the in, in the studio are actually trying to get plugged. So I'm not going to say what the handles are. <laughs> no, I'm playing. Check out um, people. I'll just put all the stuff in the description as well. Just that you get here. I'm sure you're going to hear some ah, whatever is in like weird some popping sounds and whatever. Them. <laughs> they're, not, they're not a lot. Like all the laughing, they're not a lot, but yeah. you're going to hear them. I'll put the, the handles over there. I'll put a couple of videos from, from uh, Anatoria as well. Um, as we go along in the video i'm sure you'll see them up there and also for um anything else we've mentioned otherwise guys thank you so much we're gonna have blessing take us out do you want to drink some water first or you're okay? i just drank some oh. the devil could have warned me yeah because now i'm gonna just low song well, listen any anything anything we're gonna go out and um thank you so much guys is that you prepare when you're about to sing <laughs> <laughs> You close so your eyes, like, get oh. into the zone. Mm. Alright, let me do this. It's a gospel song anyways. Okay. Just in case you want the song, it's called You Covered Me. Mm. You covered me yeah, in the midst of it all. You loved me. You gave me another chance. You saw my needs. 
When others saw my faults, you saved me. So in my life, in my life, be if I I'd be glorified in my life, be glorified, I'd be glorified. Amen. And that's the middle of podcast. Check you out in the next episode. Peace Cheers, out. guys.